Morning everyone. Morning. So behind we have got Marseille in France. I, that is what I still love about cruising is just waking up every morning, pulling back the curtains and being somewhere different. I am in Barcelona yesterday and now we're in Marseille. Yeah, <laughs> it's great isn't it? One day we're here, one day we're there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so they said we're in Marseille. Mm -hmm. We're not 100% sure where we're going. We never are really. I know one thing I want to try and do, so we'll see if we can do that. Now we are a little bit of a trek away. I think we're about six and a half kilometers away from the main yeah, chunk the of Yeah, mm -hmm. So we've got to get a buzz, a 16 euro each return buzz, but uh, <laughs> we'll pay it, we'll pay it. Uh, so we'll show you all that. And then, I don't know, we'll see what we do. Yeah, there'll probably be food involved. Probably. actually get to see the ship properly because we didn't really see it yesterday in Barcelona there was a lot of gangways and stuff uh, now as we said before we are getting the MSC buzz it is 16 euros each return there is a free buzz it's a kilometer walk I believe up to the right uh, and it drops you off in the middle we're not daring enough to try it because it's like the first time we've come here I'm like oh, will it get you back in time and like things like that so yeah. we're going to be suckers maybe and pay the 16 euros yeah if you've been here before and you know you, you know your way a bit <laughs> Stacey's a warrior I am I'd do it but uh, yeah at least you know the MSC one it gets you here on time oh there's a, the Costa Pacifica is it oh. cruise ship in another one behind there oh yeah we yeah, were eating breakfast this morning and Kev did Luke and he thought that that was all part of our ship. I didn't know how it's far we were. Big. How it's not that far big. back we were. Who the turnstiles? Right, we just got off the buzz. Yeah. As we have said before, <laughs> make sure you leave a marker in Google Maps or whatever map service you use. Yeah. Because this is where you get the buzz back. Otherwise, we wouldn't remember. Yeah. <laughs> now, <clears throat> driving in, <laughs> don't be worried, it is a bit rough. We thought we were back in Stoke on Trent, let's just say. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit rough in places. It was getting, it was getting nicer as we were yeah. coming along, and it obviously does look really nice in Marseille city centre. So, well, we haven't even gone in there, yeah. I think From sometimes though, when you get off the port in some places, it's a little bit. It wasn't the port. Down. It was once we got off like the motorway <laughs> and getting into Marseille. It was like, yeah. And then, it got, and then it got a bit nice. We're yeah. like, okay, this is more like. So, uh, but we're not in Stoke. We're in Marseille. Don't be fooled yeah. by that puppy. <laughs> we think. What we're going to do <laughs> is get uh, this fancy looking new tram up to Palais Longchamp. <laughs> what is it? Palais Longchamp. No, you say in English. <laughs> I don't know. Long, Longchamp Palais. Uh, that's it, yeah. Sounds like someone's out of Indiana Jones. Um, yeah, it's one euro seventy each, each way. And how far is it? Oh, it's about an hour's walk. Is it? Yeah. Oh, definitely getting the tram. Yeah, we'll get the tram up and uh, hopefully we end up there. Yeah. We end up in Paris. T2. Know we, we I know we've got to get T2 and I think this is T3 in a minute. I'm not referencing Terminator movies. Okay. <laughs> it's That's what the trams are called. So we were just trying to figure out how do you pay? Do you pay on the tram? But then we saw this little machine. So hopefully. Right. <laughs> so it's 180. Google said 170 in euros it's live. But I'm guessing that's two trips so is that like a return so if we get that that was an English option that is I English oh, so a oh yeah cost <laughs> I saw the above so I'm gonna get two of these right I'm that's gonna get one there. <laughs> how's that worked yes let's have a receipt just in case I'm gonna get like chucked off the tram and random somewhere random i don't even know if that's giving me a receipt did you press the button <clears throat> it says press the button for a receipt is that the tram no i think that might have been the wrong way <laughs> i don't know actually 
right so we've worked out we think that ticket that we just got is just for one way for the both of us so we're getting prepared for on the way back and getting another one so it's yeah we've got two two way tickets which has cost seven euros some yeah so not too bad right it's here let's jump on hopefully it's going the right way Right, we just got off the tram. Nice clean tram. Seemed pretty new. Yeah, that was dead easy. It's worth jumping on and coming yeah. for. It took eight minutes. Eight like, stops, yeah. I think you said. So we've got eight minutes. Yeah. And uh, mm, nobody checked the tickets. Maybe could have gone away without paying that. <laughs> you just know though if you'd have risked someone would have yeah. like come on and chucked us off. I mean, I know it's only like, so it's cost like seven euros for the return. It's nothing really, but as well as the 16 euros each to get here on the bus <laughs> not saying nothing you know what i mean we're just you know just saying spewing facts yeah just keeping it real right so it's one of them buildings well it's actually a, technically a monument that everyone's heard of you've seen pictures of but we didn't actually know why it's here and i was just reading and it's for like hundreds of years ago there was like a water shortage and so it was built to bring water from like a canal somewhere so that the people of like Marseille could obviously drink water and have a supply of water. So we'll probably read more about it as we go up, but yeah, kind of interesting. Now we know what it actually is. I'd like to just point out that the water by our house in the canal doesn't look anything like this. It's basically brown sludge. If, if it looked like this, I'd be walking down it all the time. We don't have naked lady monuments on it either. So just at the back of the water bit is this park. Now, we're on search for some cages. Because apparently uh, part of the park used to be like a zoo, but it closed in like 1987 and they've still left a few of like the cages up or something like that, like the old remains of like the zoo. So we just thought that'd be cool, go and have a look at wherever it is. So when you go into the park at the back of the, the water monument, Palace La Chambre, we'll call it, whatever it's called. There's, uh, if you have to co come down some steps, this is where the old zoo used to be. And uh, there's still some remnants of it, some cages and bits. We're guessing this is the old giraffe place because it says Theatre de la Giraffe or Giraffe. However you say it in France, we can see, oh, we can't see because there's a tree there. We can see uh, like an old bird aviary. So we're going to just have a look around here. Look at see if there's any cool old stuff. Ah, so there's actually an entrance. It's now called Funny Zoo Marseille. So trying to look out for this entrance sign here. Because there is uh, colourful animals they've put in now. So we found the old elephant house. Now they've put colourful animals and an old blue dinosaur in there for some reason. I don't know why a dinosaur would be in with the elephants. It has got like the elephants engraved on like the stone Yeah, there. so there's a big one up there. But I'm guessing they wouldn't have had that many animals in. No. And we're guessing this bit we're walking in now would have been enclosed off. There would have been fences and this is where they would have been able to walk out and stuff. But there's an old, um, if you can just see it there, looks like an old maybe shop or toilet or <laughs> something that used to be in the zoo. Uh, there's a few kiddie bits in here now they've put in a little ride over there and uh, looks like they've got a basketball course over there there's some more stuff around the back so we're going to see how many colourful animals we can go and find So we haven't really got the time 
but uh, just as you're looking at that just to the right of the fountain you've got the natural history museum just in this archway uh, it is free there is some paid exhibits in there we haven't got the time or we'd love to go in so if you're not bothered as much about this in the park and you'd like to go in there that's always an option that's free we all like free but now we're just gonna try and find I think it's just down there where we got the tram from uh, and head back down and go to the marina so if there's more than two of you you'd probably be better off getting a taxi instead of the bus into Marseille from the cruise uh, terminal now on Google Maps it says there's a it shows you a company called Bolt, which is like they're free now if you watch our Barcelona one or like an Uber app. Uh, it works out about the same. I mean, if you get it to the Longchamp, it saves you getting the, the tram up. And I think it was said it was between, say, 19 euros and 23 euros one way. So if there's more than two of you, or if you just want to get a taxi and you don't want to get on the bus, it would be a better option. So I'll put a screenshot on now, I'm pretty sure it was Bolt. It's gonna work out cheaper for you. Yeah, and like I say, we're all about saving money. So oh, just to mention, there is a machine up this end as well, so you don't have to buy your return down there. So if you've watched our other travel videos, you know we have to go in Starbucks. We do collect the Starbucks mugs. You see them through the window, I think they've got them. So hopefully they've got them, because we have struggled to get a France one. Oh yeah, they've got a few. Oh, so they get Marseille or France. Ooh. We get France and Jet. Yeah. So they've got France, Marseille, and Montpellier. I think, oh, and Cannes. Oh, yeah, I like the Cannes one because it's got yeah. film stuff on, like the film festival. We haven't been to Cannes though. So no, but we'll get a France one, and yeah. I think I'll grab that because Stacey looks like she's going to play uh, Jenga with it. Oh god! Oh god! So we've got the call. And Kev has had a English breakfast tea and the nice lady said that because we bought the cup she's gave us the tea for free. Well, we love free and I love tea. I love free tea. Right, so when in France, you've got to go to like a patisserie or a bakery, right? I suppose you haven't got to, but we have. But I don't think nobody does like cakes and bread like the French, right? Yeah. So first off, we've gone for, no idea what that's called. I'm going <laughs> with- It just looked nice. Aureolette. We'll put it on the screen, we took a picture of the writing. Now, we did end up with um, 100 grams worth. There, yeah, there was We're a not going to read all that. There was a little <laughs> language barrier. Uh, he spoke Italian, she spoke French, we barely speak English, and they yeah. spoke no English. So we've ended up with more than what we thought, but we'd asked for 50 grams, but you didn't quite understand. So, oh well, I'm going to go for this. I think googling the Aureolette means headset. What's it got to do with your head? Mmm, that's really nice. I love like pastry sprinkled with like like sugar on top, icing like sugar. icing sugar. Is it just? Does it have a taste? Or does it just sure taste like pastry? I'm not sure if it's got a hint of cinnamon or lemon. That's two completely different hey. things, and I can't figure it out which one. Okay, the difference between cinnamon and lemon. Maybe you meant to dip it in stuff, maybe? It'd be nice on like top of a cake or something, but I love pastry, so. But let, let Kev have a bite of that and see. Is it lemon? It's definitely not cinnamon. I've ruled out cinnamon now. Is it lemon? Mmm. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Mm. There is the tiniest citrusy kick when you first bite it. I, prob I could probably just snack on all 100 grams of that though. But I'm not going to. So we said there was a language barrier, but there wasn't when it came to this. This is, it's called the Sable Natale. We we know what Natale is, that's pretty simple. But there was a big one and a small one. He went, and I went. So we got the big one. But it looks like, I've, tr I've snapped it in half. It's like a, a really short biscuit. Doubled up. <laughs> with uh, almonds and Nutella in the middle. So this is gonna go everywhere and in my beard probably in a minute. Mmm. It's like a really, really short shortbread. It's really crispy. Quite sweet. It's sweet because of the Nutella. But it is like a shortbread with almonds and Nutella, so delicious. 
so we did ask for a croissant and then she kind of went over to a box and we pointed at like that and that and i've ended up with a pan of chocolate kev doesn't even know what he's got in oh, there i've just got a random mystery one so i'm gonna give this a try he's french anyway so so long as mine hasn't got like tripe in or <laughs> some kind of awful i'll be okay because mm. you've got to have a croissant in when you're in france it's 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 like it should be a law so like obviously in your british supermarkets we sell like the pan of chocolates but honestly with that it's so like it just pastry just isn't like that like it's so crispy on like the outside like proper proper homemade Ooh. like yeah fluffy and it's airy like flu yeah it's fluffy and airy and, and the crisp inside, at the crisp same time the outside and chocolatey so it turns out i've got a teeny weeny pan of raisin i mean compared this to what is left of Stacey's, what she's already <laughs> eaten probably half of. I got robbed on this end. I love raisins. Mine's not as crispy as Stacey's was because I've got like soft raisins in. Maybe, might be a little bit custard or something in there. Just something that's making it moist inside. Stacey's looks better than this one, to be honest with you. You make the ones like we have at home that taste like oh, cardboard. You, you, your Tesco and your Aldi ones <laughs> that are terrible. You can taste the difference, so it's worth it. And I think for the two croissants, the Nutella thing, and the big, big bag of pastry, it costs like eight euros, so not, not much really when you think about it. It's worth it though. So we're just down by the harbour, or the marina now, whatever you want to call it. It's lined with restaurants. So if you want to come off the boat, or if you're in Marseille on a day trip or anything, there's plenty of places to eat and we've just come across because uh, you can smell it from a mile back this guy's here roasting fresh i'm guessing they're little sardines maybe they look like small fish up there he smells absolutely delicious i mean i think i've seen stacy drooling a couple of times did they come with fries no stace no but uh, I, Guessing it's for this little restaurant down here. I don't know if they've just got them off. I'm guessing they've just got them off the boat. Must have. Oh, they look delicious. Oh, so we've just walked past all these people. They've been bringing them trays out. It comes with, strange, but it comes with, looks like fries, couscous, crisps, or potato chips, depending on where you're watching, and bread. Oh, and did I say peanuts? So it's... Yeah, so it's, it's a bit of a random plateful. There's also some um, little trains, because you can go to the, uh, oh, what is it, the Notre Dame, but it's not the Notre Dame from, what's the movie? Uh, Quasimodo, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Up, yeah, that's in Paris. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying, it's not that no. Notre Dame, but they have got another one, so if you did want to go up there, get on a little train. So that little um, train, what we showed you, takes you all the way up there so that's the basilique notre dame de la god that's how i'm pronouncing it that's what google said so that's what i'm saying so yeah it's another one of the problems we've not got that long here or it looks a lovely place to go up so it is a saturday today in marseille when we've come off the boat it is really busy and just another thing we were going to point out there is plenty of boat trips from uh, the marina, all different kinds, full day ones, ones that last a few hours. Not 100% sure where they go, but uh, there's a lovely old church. Not even gonna try and pronounce that because that's got an even longer Frenchier name than the Notre Dame one. So I've butchered one, I'm not butchering another. But it's a nice place come, plenty of uh, eateries. There's a big king in a McDonald's, even if you just want to grab a McFlurry. So you can find everything in this part of Marseille. We're just going back to the buzz. Just down from where the buzz dropped us off. Uh, just back that way on the edge of the supermarket, not on the edge of the shopping centre, there's a little supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> we just stocked up on some cans and some waters to try take back on the, the ship. Might as well try. I can't remember how often they said the buzz was. Well, well I've just seen a buzz way. pull up. Oh. So we might be able to get on that one, but we Maybe. might have to wait. If think, we have to I wait. I think every half hour, I think. Yeah. But the last one is at quarter past three. Yes. So it's about half two now, quarter to three. Yeah. 
let's go get that one. So there was a bus that had just pulled up right next to the MSC little flags there. So we walked over to there, but oh no, you can't get on there. You've got to join this big group of people here. Great. This is the line, that's the start. There's Stacy. And it goes all the way down there. A buzz has just gone. Uh, I've just checked on the app again and it says it's between 16 and 19 euros with Bolt. It's looking the better option to be honest with you, even if there's two of you because you haven't got to go through all this rigmarole. Oh, it's, it's terrible. Time for a rant. Nobody queues. Everybody pushes in. <laughs> Nobody gives a toss. Okay, so you might get a little bit angry like, we are Stacey's laughing because I'm on a rant to you. But it's annoying. Everybody's just pushing in. So that was hard work. We'll see you back at the ship. Right, finally. <laughs> that was a long bus trip. That was a long, very loud bus trip. We'll just <laughs> we'll just say that. Oh, I'm glad to be off though. We're back at the ship. The ship. Is that the slides? Yeah, there's you go. There's some slides for you. Yeah, but like we were saying before, if we um, the places that we're going to be going and filming next, we um, we don't have to get a bus. We can just like walk off the ship, yeah. and we're already there. But we would look at getting the taxi because that was just horrendous coming yes, back on there. Definitely, definitely look at the taxi. You don't have to technically be back on the ship till four thirty. Yet the last bus is quarter past three. Yeah, and we wasted probably half an hour. A just good queuing, half an hour. Yeah, just queuing for it, yeah. and so you're just wasting time that you could have had there. So yeah, it's, so well, it's one for the future to research to research properly. Yeah. So but yeah. generally you can look on Google Maps. Yeah, and there's. A little guy looks like he's waving that's normally taxis and stuff like that and it gives you apps for local apps and stuff so just look at that that's all we've done really but uh, yeah hope you enjoyed um coming along with us to marseille yep. uh, we, we've had a really fun day really yeah, it's nice a beautiful place keep really saying nice. it, but the great thing about these cruise ships is that you go different destinations than tomorrow or somewhere else yep. you so make sure you hit that subscribe button for Definitely. new ship content new destination content yep. so just so much content yeah and while you're doing that give us a big like yeah and leave yeah. a comment if you've been to marseille did we miss summit we definitely missed summit <laughs> but uh no let us know yes and uh we'll Let's see you in the next back on that ship yeah maybe go get some pizza bye guys bye <laughs>